In the spring of 2021, I decided to build out my minivan camper. I spent the last two years sleeping on an inflatable mattress on the floor and all my stuff lived in bins. It worked well enough, but I craved more room and comfort. I'm pulling the seats out of my van to give myself some more room in here. We got all this storage on the floor, so I'm gonna finally take advantage of it. Step one was pretty straightforward. With a few turns of a ratchet and a good YouTube tutorial, the seats popped right out. Step two is pulling out the back seats. First I made room, and then used my fancy new socket set to pull out the remaining bolts. Two bolts for each seat on the back, and then one little screw holding the little plastic divider on here. Just pulled out these couple bolts. I flipped the seats up to access the bolts in the seat well. All right, there we go, there's that. Look at them, those are some big bolts. Step, I don't know, two or three is to vacuum all this out. It's, it's a total mess back here. This little shop back has been great. This thing even comes with a hose. It's pretty killer. I should definitely clean the van more often. It gets so dusty in here. That's still ice chunks. Yeah, it's been real freaking cold at night. Yeah, look at that. So much more room. The spring cleaning continues. Armor all wipes are a great thing to keep in the van. And salt to clean your cast iron. I woke up the next morning to snow, and a lot of it. <sighs> Cheers, guys. So I have all this like storage space on the floor now, and I'm gonna use it to put all these, all this stuff from like the bins and that in there. Then I made window coverings, which I've been avoiding for a very long time. Gotta insulate. Next came more organizing and cleaning. It's crazy how much stuff fits in these stow and go compartments. Step five is a little more complicated. After some coffee, I pack up my bed and change out of my pajamas to go to Home Depot. I gotta drill some bits, a two by three, and a sheet of half inch birch finished plywood. It's nice and smooth, so I won't have to like actually do anything to it. I can just throw my crash pad right on top of it and go to sleep. I had no plan, so this step turned out to be a huge waste of time. I would eventually cut the whole back sheet of the plywood so I could put a cabinet back there, and had I thought it through, I could have just had Home Depot make the cut like I did on the front. On this half here, we just got a, a two by three that I cut in half. It sits right here. And another two by three right there. So this, and boom, now I've got a, a full length bed. When I need to get into my floor, because I got all that storage in here, I'll just lift this up. Boom, cut this in half, Fill both of these, screw them into there, and it'll be done. The idea with this project is just to like keep building on it, just to get a simple platform in, keep it as simple and minimal as possible, and then just keep improving on it. Right now, a floor, a level floor, and storage. Nice and easy with very simple tools. The storage here is super inaccessible since I need to lift the entire platform to be able to access it. 
but my work contract is over and it's time to move camp. The nights here have all been below freezing, so the window coverings are getting a good test. The little buddy helps too. Home sweet home with a brand new floor. With more cold and snow in the forecast, I loaded up the van and moved camp into the desert. I am not a morning person and barely functional without coffee. I wasted even more time the day before this cutting a hole for that water jug to fit in, but I won't show you that. This place gets real dusty. Real dusty. Step six is starting on the cabinet. First I measure and cut the legs to fit. And then I use another fancy tool, my drill, to screw the pieces together. Unfortunately, I had bought the wrong size screws and would have to redo this step. I screwed up. I definitely should have got at least two inches, if not two and a half. Oh well, I guess I'm gonna have to go to the store tomorrow. With the proper size screws in hand, I continued assembling the platform for my cooler to sit on. Two very shoddy rectangles. <laughs> Now to make them a box. After my morning coffee, I unpack the van for the last time. All that's left to do is cut the sheet of plywood in half and then anchor the cabinet. Next step done. Had I thought this through, I could have just had Home Depot rip that for me like I did the front, but whatever. Live and learn. All that, and it doesn't fit. I kind of had a bad feeling that was going to happen. we go. Let's hope I don't have to do any more big rips, because that is exhausting. <laughs> Let's test the wall. I might not even have to cut this. build anything else in here, I'm definitely investing a battery powered circular saw. Absolutely. This is exhausting. Boom.
Got the couch made up now. All that's left to do is make some dinner. Whew. Yeah, I'm whooped. But yeah, it's raining, so I gotta like really hurry up and pack up. Like when it rains and gets wet here, everything turns into this like horrible mud. The last time I was here, I got stuck. So I really, I'm like in pretty deep too. So I wanna make sure that I do get out of here right now. Let's go. I've already got like most of my stuff is set up. I just gotta pack up a few more things out here. Toss them in the car and I'm ready to roll. Let's do it. Let's get out of here before we get stuck. Cause these stairs are all here 